Well, good morning, guys, and welcome back to the channel. You're watching me, Old Car Auto Guy. So today we have the auction company coming to take a few pictures of some of our vehicles to get them up on the auction block. So they should be here sometime after lunch. So we're going to spend a few minutes and get these vehicles washed up and cleaned up inside so they look a little more presentable than being driven around in the rain. So that's what we're gonna do now. One last one to wash. Sounds like my wife over there. <laughs> Yours over there too, Tim? <laughs> I probably started to eat that. Must be something dead over there in the woods. The crows are squawking. There's about eight of them over there. So that's where we hide the bodies. Looks like somebody's laying down some burnout lube. Wonder who it is. Make some burnout lube. So Alex thinks he can make both tires spin on a one wheel peel vehicle. We'll see. Not even with burnout loop. <laughs> Nothing going on here, officer. Nothing going on here. Uh, what? more crop circles. <laughs> huh? Well, yeah, but you had help. Burnout lube. They'll do one wheel peel on dry pavement too. <laughs> Goon. So he just got his class five license, which here in New Brunswick means He's a fully licensed, non-graduated driver. He's gonna lose those points real quick. So if you haven't seen it yet, I'm gonna put the link right up here for the live video that we just did on replacing the kick down cable, uh, the new video that replaces the replacement kick down cable. Uh, anyways, we're just getting ready to go out, take this thing for a test drive, make sure that the adjustment is right. Might have to bring it back in, make a few more adjustments. So we're just going to take this thing up the road and see how she works. So again, if you don't know what a kick down cable does, step on the gas going down the highway and you want to pass somebody, 
it forces your transmission to downshift, in this case back into second gear, which it's not doing at the current moment. So it means we've got to adjust that uh, lever up just a little bit more. So this is take two of the cable adjustment. adjustment for the kick down cable just like you've been watching the little piece that hooks onto here that spins on here was nearing the end of its threads and when I was spinning it off it fell so you wouldn't think that it would just fall right there oh no it had to fall down inside that gap not really sure where that gap goes. It's inside the intake or underneath the intake and the head. 
it's got me extremely frustrated right now. Because it's made out of aluminum, you can't get a magnet on it. I can't even see it. And I'm a little bit too upset right now to even film it. So when I figure it out and I calm down a little bit, I'll get back to it. Okay, so after last night's little episode with the adjustment uh, connector on the carburetor for the kickdown cable, I'm calmed down, I'm collected, and I've got some backup. I've got some tools here that we're going to try and reach down and grab that little piece. So the other thing that I have is I've got the other connector from the cheap Chinese kit that I had bought the first time or worst case Ontario I can use this one and put it on there but I just don't want that thing to be down inside there so we're gonna try and get that out right now so I've also got a magnet and we're hoping that that's got enough strength to pull that out of there based on the fact that it does have a piece of uh, tin on it that locks it into place on the throttle the other thing I have the other thing I have is one of these little grappler things that kind of comes out, grabs a hold and pulls it in. We're hoping that that'll fit down in there. So that's what we're going to try first. Let's see if we can get the camera mounted somewhere. So at this point I am going in blind. I don't know what we're going to do. Shy of taking the intake off. I don't know how we're going to get that out. I can't even see it in there. Oh yes, I see it now, I guess. I see it. I think the carburetor is going to have to come off for me to get the right angle to dig down in there. Son of a biscuit. Shoot. How can something fall into such a small hole so easily but come out so Flipping hard. Son of a gun. There we have it, folks. Wow. Whew. 
that should not have been that hard. But now we can put it back together and get this thing back on the road. Well, now that we got that problem or that crisis averted, uh, I just ran home on my lunch break to do that. So I still gotta go grab a bite to eat before I head back to the shop. And we will save the adjustments for a later time. Uh, maybe later on this evening, I'll get back out and see if we can make those adjustments, take it for another run, see how it works. So, again, crisis averted. Well guys, we did not get the car adjusted tonight. I got my hair adjusted instead. It'll trim off the beard, level off the top. So every time I go in to get my hair cut, I always tell her just to take the gray ones and it always ends up so short. So I don't know, what's that tell you? Anyways, don't forget to go back and watch that live video of me changing out that cable. And if you haven't done it already, click that subscribe button and hit the bell notification so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next upload.